Forests provide economic resources and a source of food, water, wood and medicine for local communities. They offer environmental habitats for animals and plants, protect our soil and water resources and moderate climate conditions. There are also commercial opportunities such as ecotourism and nature-based industries which can also benefit local communities. Cloud forests are very important to ecosystems through their outstanding biodiversity value. By preventing floods and soil erosion and protecting and ensuring the supply of food and clean water. The Forestry Protected Area Management Project focuses on the improvement of sustainable land and forest management in the village lowlands and the conservation of the highland cloud forests. Eight villages in Savai currently receive assistance for the establishment of three community conservation areas covering 13,200 hectares to demonstrate the importance of forests in Samoa. A 10-day Manumea ecological survey of the Tanga and Ngataiwai upland forests was conducted on the 24th of November 2014 by the MNRE Division of Environment and Conservation, or DEC, with the support of the FAO FPAM project. FAO supports this uh, Manumea survey of the Tanga and Ngataiwai uplands through its partnership with the Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment. This is because it contributes to the achievement of some of the outputs of the forest conservation and protected area management implemented by FAO. This was the first stage of the development of protected areas. The survey team was tasked to locate the Manumea bird and survey the fauna and flora ecology of the survey area. This documentary reports on the project's Manumea Ecological Survey of the Tanga and Ngataiwai upland forests compiled by the MNRDEC and Faleafanga Tony Tipama. The objectives of the survey were to capture the Manumea on video and still photographs. If possible, collect feathers, bird waste and any other unusual signs observed around the site. Also, to plot all sites of interest using GPS, including tracks, camping sites, sample plots and natural features such as the surroundings where the Manumea was sighted and the inland outreach of any invasive species. And finally, to carry out forest enumeration surveys such as native bird counts. The national bird of Samoa, the Manumea or tooth-billed pigeon, is endangered because of the loss of suitable forest ecosystems. This is due to logging, farming and the impact of invasive plant and animal species. Over the next three days, with the assistance of local hunters, the team cut trails on the three mountains, Mount Olatani, 
Mount Ailao and Mount Fatua Fie. Five-minute counts at 100 meter intervals for forest enumeration were conducted. And at the end of each day, the team and hunters discussed the day's events and compiled their findings. In the following week, the team set up camp at Ngataiwai Forest. Over the next three days, the team cut trails and set up point stations along the trails. Once again, five-minute counts at 100 meter interval surveys for forest enumeration were conducted. And at the end of each day, the team and hunters discussed the day's events and compiled their findings. The surveys of Tanga and Ngataiwai forest areas show that most of the forests were actually secondary forests and had been logged for plantations. Closed canopy forest patches were now open grasslands covered with Meremia vine and other invasive plant life. Cyclones Ofa in 1990 and Val in 1991 caused most of the damage to the forests and bird life. A total of 25 bird species were recorded, 21 land birds and 4 seabirds. 10 species previously found in the area were not located, indicating that they were either relatively rare or possibly extinct. Low numbers of flying foxes were seen and cloudy weather conditions with only very occasional sun did not suit lizard activity. Invasive minor and bulbul birds were also found here. Intact native forests were found within an altitude range of 500 meters to 700 meters going up the main trail towards the north and then down to 450 meters on the southern sides of both forests. A wider range of species were found here including Pacific pigeons and fruit doves and a few seabirds likely to nest at different times of the year. The coastal forest was dominated by native trees though logged in the past, and it held the highest number of pigeons and doves and is the most significant area for the Samoan broadbill. There were small areas of open water, swamp-filled craters and cliffs and rock stacks on the coast. These provided very specific habitats with their own range of fauna and flora. It is important to conserve and protect large areas of forest to support large number of birds and provide them with shelter from natural disasters such as cyclones. Efforts to continue to improve the quality of this habitat through control of invasive species and reforestation should be encouraged. <laughs> During the day, rats were numerous and widespread. Pigs were also encountered in several areas, particularly up the mountain trails, with no significant damage to the forest identified. Weeds were a significant feature and if not controlled will have a direct impact on the native forests which provide the habitats for the more rare native birds. Used shotgun cases were found on the trek on the inner forest areas where pigeons were found. Hunting continues to occur in the forests of Tanga and Ngataiwai and is likely to be a key factor for the low number of pigeons and doves. Key findings of the survey highlighted the fact that Tanga and Ngataiwai forests were slowly recovering from cyclones and fires. The fast spread of invasive plants in the open areas is a major concern. Eliminating invasive weeds and prioritizing reforestation was crucial to the survival of these native forests and the bird species that it nurtures.
ayo mang lele lor mang niya ya kaya ang uba ay yung awi ikuku ay yama kilo kilo may lemingoy ya pear siwa ay kanga kapo lele kilo ba makuha lele kay kayo nga kaya ayo lele si bang nga uba sa o lele lor ba ay yama kilo kilo buo yun kaya ko ay loa le kaya ay mawa well mang lele mang niya etele po yaya ba ay ngole olbam tuwa ay Olha a galera que vai ganhar ele mangu ganhar ele quem ganhou a ele faz muito simbo ele vai ele ele cau ganhar ele a galera vai ele mangu longo lau longo mal e a ongo ele o o o mo mo maia nisso malaco mal 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 maco quem o ele foi ganha ganha por ele a aí sava sava aí ganha bom meu o o pula na folha meu vai meu mal ele a sava mal cu mal ele não ele ele subiu ele não e a mas foi ele ele foi ganhar ele foi Nengalah kau bayar leleman. Although the calls of the Manumea were heard on various occasions, it was seen only once in Ngataiwai, a reflection of its endangered status. The FPAM project provides valuable data and information that can assist villagers like Tanga and Ngataiwai to make informed decisions on how to conserve and protect their native forests, not only for the species that rely on them but also for the communities themselves who form a major part of this environment. Mai atau no ifu ila fapi nau nasi le sila ya ile to faman fau tanga ale pule malu ali ma fai pule awa ale memo ya ale ya ista tu ngalu nga e pui pui ai ma fau ngai na se manulele ya pule alabal mai ngolol fana tu le fai mata imuang ai e lo ai tau ya e e ola mai ma tu pu mai ya ya alu ma fana nau e la tu le tu e fai ya tu langa tau ni ole tatu sisi omanga ya po lau fana nua mata ngofio. Or, or, or let's know.